Welcome to the Vocal Dental Nurses with your hosts, Kate and Shelly. <laughs> yes, I'm still in. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. You might have heard some little whisperings about some, can I, can I have some food? And yes, she can talk because you've probably gathered that it's Shelly and Kate again. And we've got the wonderful daughter, but she's probably hiding in the corner, I think, Shelly, isn't she? She's been banished she come to and the say corner. Hello again. No, oh, bless I'm not encouraging her. her because then she won't leave my side. But if anyone can hear oh, Minecraft dear. going off, that's what she's doing. <laughs> Hopefully. And meanwhile, Shelley and I are going to use uh, this time again, just to have a little chit chat about um, dental nurses, how fantastic they are. And in some cases, how, um, you know, not valued they are, which is a real, real shame. But I think today, Shelley, we're going to talk about the, the um, varied roles and responsibilities of, of a dental nurse, aren't we? We are. Yes. Yeah little nod of your head yeah, <laughs> so I mean I suppose Eve, even within um your practice Shelley I mean I know um what what you guys do um obviously I don't know uh full time but I mean it's such a varied um position isn't it being a dental nurse yeah 100 percent. and people still believe you know you have the trainees bless them come for an interview and you sort of one of the questions is always and what do you think the roles and responsibilities of dental nurse are and it's like passing the dentist equipment welcoming the patient it's the tip of the iceberg isn't it it really is just the tip oh, of the iceberg if it was God. just that you know even that's you know enough to do isn't it really but yeah um, the list is just endless absolutely endless and it's not just like we've said before, it's not just what people see in surgery. It's all the stuff behind the scenes. It's all the decon side. The paperwork side is just relentless. The policies, oh, you know, the, yeah. the tick lists that go on forever. Has this been done? Has this been done? Yeah, yeah. Features you stop control, I think. Yeah. No, I think a lot of people don't appreciate, you know, it isn't just a matter of going and getting some stock and replenishing your surgery. And I, I mean, I think I can talk for most dental nurses out there, maybe, that, you know, you've always got one nurse, maybe in the practice, that would rather go to another surgery, perhaps, and borrow something from the surgery than go into the stock room. So when you go to your surgery and you think it's all stocked and your dentist asks for something, it's not there. Yes. So stock control is a massive, massive yes. thing within, within a practice, you know, not just it within the surgery, because obviously somebody's got that role and responsibility of the stock room as well. Yeah. Um, and it certainly doesn't always fall to a head nurse, because I know a head nurse sometimes delegates that to a member of a team. Um, but with all the, the, the roles that a dental nurse has, I don't really hear many nurses say that they're actually given additional time to complete these these roles. I mean, this is within normally within a five day week or a six day week and a nine to five. Yeah. So it's not as though they have spare time. Yeah. They're nursing those yeah. five or six days, aren't they? Yeah, hundred percent. So we're quite lucky at our place. We get a forty five minute setup time in the morning. Um, I know a lot of places only sort of get 10, 15 minutes, but those 45 minutes are manic, making sure everything's ready. We have to check all the day lists, check that the lab work's ready for, you know, if you've got any crowns or denture work in that day. And um, he likes us to check and write down when the last time was that they had bite wings and then put a little reminder on if he's due to take those, you know, making sure all the lines have been run through, decons all set up, You've got everything that you're going to need that day. And then, yeah, the last job on the list is a cup of tea waiting for him when he comes to the door. <laughs> the most important the job. Most but, important the last job. but the last one. <laughs> so it's nice and hot when he arrives. <laughs> oh, I can only imagine because I know who you're talking yeah, about. Of course you do. Yeah. He loves his tea, bless him. So, yeah, that, I mean, you know, and we're really lucky in that respect that we do get those 45 minutes and they are needed and they are used. Oh, yeah. They are. But do you know what, Shelley? I mean, that I mean, it's fantastic. And I absolutely understand that word in that sentence, manic, because it isn't a 45 minute leisurely stroll and check because then you potentially got somebody coming to you saying, I can't find certain piece of lab work or I can't find. So you're almost 
sort of working as a team, but helping other people as well. Yeah. But during that day, what you just said a moment ago as well. So not only um, chair side assisting that dentist with everything, looking after the patient, answering any questions. You, you've just said it's all those tick lists, yes. all those logs. Yes. And it's not as though you can say, oh, I might fill that in later because you're only going to build up throughout exactly. the day all the things you've got to tick off and Absolutely. check. And yeah. it's, I mean, how on earth? Would would you explain that in in an interview without putting them without putting them <laughs> off for life? Off. Yeah, it's um, yeah. yeah. We try not to. We're we're very yes. It's assisting the dentist and chatting to the patients. <laughs> yes, no. We break them no, in gently. Not at all. We break them in very very gently. Yeah, because yeah. it is too much yeah, to yeah. put on someone. I mean, when we had our first webinar some weeks ago now with um, Re, I remember saying mm. on my first day. I remember sitting in surgery thinking, I'm never going to get this. I'm never going to get this. Mm. So to yes. throw everything else on top, it would just blow people's minds. Yeah. So it is, you do oh, have to sort of take yeah. it gradually and start, you know, 100%, 100%. every day or every week, start, you know, introducing other bits that we are eventually going to expect from them as a dental nurse. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a lot. Yeah. It is a lot. I mean it is, and I mean, with the skill set that a nurse has, um, I mean, the organisation skills, how they empathise, all of those things, that they're, they're almost underrated. And I mean, it's a massive part of the job. Um, biggest, not just to emphasise with the nurses, uh, no, with, sorry, with the patients, is to emphasise with absolutely, your team. Absolutely, absolutely. My biggest thing, whenever anybody comes from an interview, whether they're qualified or they are brand new to it all, is that you have to be efficient and you have to be obsessed with cleaning an organisation because yeah. those are the those for me are the biggest foundations. You have to be logical, efficient. Your time management has got to be, you know, a one. It really yeah. has because otherwise you, you've got that much to do. If you don't know, if you don't have a set routine you can just forget it because it'll all just disappear. You'll forget. So I like to have set routines. I do things at certain times of the day and then I know that they're done then. 100%. Rather than leaving it all and to then, the end and then thinking, where do I start yes. now? Exactly. Because bear in mind, at the end of the day, you've got all those other processes to follow Absolutely. for a close down, shut down yeah. of your surgery. And potentially, you know, you obviously got to be keeping an eye on the rest of your week the next day. Yeah. Um, checking that you've got everything um, there for, for that day's work as well. So, I mean, it is, it is endless. I mean, there, it, there's not, um, there's not a position within a dental nurse's role for somebody that's, that's lazy because Absolutely. you really are Absolutely. on the go. 100%. 100%. And I mean, th I mean, we're missing a massive part of their role as well, which is there to chaperone their, their dentist, their hygienist, et cetera, et cetera. They are there as a chaperone. Absolutely. Which is a, a massive and important, um, important role, isn't it? Yeah. So um, note taking. I mean, they've yes. got to be yeah. absolutely spot on with the with the note taking. Yeah. And as as you know, the, all these things we're mentioning, they don't just like happen. If we've got a patient in, that just doesn't happen. One, and then we do that, and then two, and then note taking all of these things. The dentist wants that. The hygienist wants that. You've got to make sure the notes are done. You've got to make sure. So all of those things are happening. You know, sometimes all at one yep. time. So yep. I mean. But the, the pressure a dental nurse can be under is is phenomenal. And I mean, I, I think that's the importance of having a really good team around you. Like, well, much like yours. Absolutely. Much the like team, yours. yeah, the team really do. It's like if, if ever we've got a dentist off on holiday or if they call in sick, which luckily very rarely happens. <laughs> I mean, when I started almost 20 years ago, that would be like, oh, brilliant. I'll sit in my surgery and I'll empty out all the drawers and I'll do this. And I'll do yeah. it. it doesn't happen now. It's like you are in that decon room, you're mm. making bite packs. You're checking like the surgical trays have got everything on that they should have. Yeah. You're doing all the different jobs in there. There's, we make our own bite guards and whitening trays. So there's mm. always something to do. I mean, it is just relentless. Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. Relentless. 
And I think like what you've said right at the beginning earlier, it's the things that you don't see that yeah. are so important for the daily running of a surgery. Yeah. Um, but of course you don't see them because it's not done perhaps in front of the patient or in that surgery. Because as you've said, you know, it's often carried out in decon. Yeah. And I mean, I, I feel, feel, you know, very strongly about the um, position of a dental nurse within uh, the practice. And for me, personally um it's only my opinion but uh, hygienists when i hear that hygienists aren't supported yeah. by a dental nurse i i, I can't understand why oh, they I, aren't yeah. you know it's my, my my personal opinion but i think that it's really important that they are supported wholeheartedly i do absolutely absolutely at our place they only get 20 minutes as well per patient so if ever they mm -hmm. were left on their own it's a real struggle for them I mean, we do have days if we're short, you know, mm. they have, if, yeah. I, it's awful and it is awful. But the good thing is all the girls are made aware in the morning, so-and-so's without a nurse today, yeah. so they will run up, get the trays for them. Yeah. But still, it's, you know, it's not an ideal situation, well, it's like is it? No, no, absolutely. But you've got to do what you can do within a practice. Yeah. And, and you're right. And if your team's aware of that somebody's going to be, we're going to be short staffed, you know, it's lovely to see a team work like that. Yeah. And I suppose the other position, which I um, commonly hear, is a decon nurse. So if you're fortunate enough in a practice to What's have a, a decon, decon nurse. nurse? I know, I know. They're those other gold frames. They really wonderful are. Wonderful people. They really um, are. That's another p position that obviously gets pulled because oh, yeah. if you're short staff. Yeah, you that's the always first the first to come out. Thing. Yeah, decon is always the 100%. first. Yeah. Which and is of course, a real shame. when we talk, oh, it is because the pressure it puts back on the team, yeah, is is phenomenal. But you know what? Like when we talk about decon, it's quite a throwaway thing for us to just say, oh yeah, someone's in decon, or yeah, there's a lot of work that goes on in decon. For those people, to be fair, that aren't aware of, you know, they've got an idea that's where you know the decontamination carry, you know, is carried out with the instruments, etc how many instruments you have in a practice and by that i mean I, I know that obviously you guys do implants so we're talking here different um autoclaves so yeah. some are vacuumed some are non-vacuumed we all know what you can and can't do with some of the implant material um, equipment so it isn't just there's your autoclave give them a scrub and put them in i mean yeah. it's a different level to know yeah. things and what can go in and what can't absolutely Absolutely. I mean, Debbie, our implant lead at our place, is um, very protective of our implant equipment. So she tends to, that's either... Big love to Debbie. Yeah, pick up the Debs. So that's, she will always um, sort out the implant stuff. But again, we've just had a new autoclave and that's got um, an implant cycle on it. Um, but the cycle that we use every day has got a drying time, but we always deactivate the drying time simply because it just takes too long. But when we put it on an implant cycle, you need the drying time. So then we end up having to stick a great big note on it saying, do not disable drying time, implant yeah. instruments being processed. <laughs> and it's just oh, silly I've things gone. like that. It is. Yeah, I've been into so many decon rooms, Shelley, and you're so right. Implants going through do not yeah. touch. And I, I, yeah. I love, when I say implants, obviously implant equipment. And it makes me giggle because I think I know because some people do think they're being helpful and they'll go and of deactivate course, something. Of course, yeah. They've got to go through it again. again. Yeah, so it is. <laughs> and, you know, it's, 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 it's the thinking ahead all the time, isn't it? And that's another one of my biggest things that I say to all the girls, you know, you're not just in the here and now. You've got to think ahead. Is the dentist talking about possibly doing a composite filling? Get your stuff out the drawer. Are they chatting about treatment that they're going to need a bit further down the line? Get it on the plan so estimates can be printed out. You know, it's that you've got to be one step ahead all the time. You have. And I mean, exactly what you've just said, Shelley, time management. So yeah. just briefly going back to even just using the autoclaves. Yeah. You you girls as and boys as dental um, nurses, the importance of your appointment book as well. Because yeah. if you, for example, back to back implants or if yeah. you've got back to back fillings or if you've got you have got to be aware of that process time in yeah. the decon. Absolutely. Because if not, 
you've got a dentist and a patient waiting. And again, you know, that's another role and responsibility, massive responsibility on, on the dental nurse. Because as you've said, you look through your day a list, I dare say it's a couple of days beforehand to have a look. Because if you're identifying a treatment that are back to back like that, there's potential problems before you've even approached the day. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And this is what helps. I mean, in our practice, the girls rotate. So like you mentioned earlier about stock, people borrowing stock from other mm. surgeries. Yes, it does happen. But luckily, because we do all rotate, no one no one surgery sort of gets left in a state because there's always someone, you know, someone different going around. But I equally, you. the girls rotate on reception as well. And I do think that helps that they've got a clinical background mm -hmm. because they are then aware, oh, someone's right. already booked in for implant surgery there. Would it be wise to book one straight in after? Can the girls get the stuff through? So that, you know, that yeah. really helps that the reception team are aware of what happens yeah. in surgery. Massive, mass. I, I totally agree with you. And I mean, throughout dentistry as well, you know, for them to realise what they're putting next, you know, pop an examination in or a consultation or, you know, an impression. Because much like your practice, loads of practices out there, and this is going back to when we were talking to Ray the other week, um, the nurses have got extended duties, you know, and, and skill sets. So, you know, some of them can take impressions and x-rays, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. But with that, comes more responsibility as well which is fantastic it's yeah. lovely to hear that dental nurses have got other things that they can branch out to do but of course that does bring another layer of like you said paperwork and tick lists and yeah. it it is endless isn't it absolutely endless. yeah absolutely so yes as long as you're well organized are you ever efficient <laughs> team player yes. you love to clean yeah no. <laughs> love to clean like love, love, to, clean. love, love, love to clean you, you have, have to, to. You have there's, to. there's those different you do because there's a different level of loving to clean because we're not just talking in your kitchen at home and making sure it's clean we are talking it's got to be sterile oh, you know 100%. this this is a different level 100%. um so one person's clean to another person's clean can be quite different yes <laughs> yes there is a spectrum <laughs> There is a That's spectrum. Very polite, you know. <laughs> there it is. Tell um, just something different because I know um, where it is in your practice. So you've you've got a milling machine, haven't you? We do, yes. Yeah. So I mean, with that milling machine, what sort of care for that actual machine? You know, what, what, we've got an idea of, of what it does. But what sort of, how do you look after it? I mean, cleaning it out and I mean, that's got to be done. Yeah, that's um, so after every use, um, the water chambers have to be emptied. It all has to be wiped around inside um, after every single use. Um, and then weekly we have this, um, it comes with a great big, what looks like a briefcase. And there's like little teepee brushes in there, wire brushes in there, bits of oil. Mm certain parts have to be taken out and re-oiled we have to run cycles with a cleaning yeah. fluid going through um yeah so that's just great stuff and not that sort of it's another another thing to do if yes. you know what i mean it isn't a two minute job no. you know so no something else to take on and of course the main maintenance of uh, the equipment i suppose is where i'm going with this yeah. um is often obviously carried out by um uh, dental nurses and I, I don't just mean by oiling the hand pieces or using things like that it's a general maintenance of what you see in the surgery and looking after it yeah 100 percent um, again, that comes back to our tick we lists. <laughs> yeah, we've got a delay. I lost you for a minute there. Um, tick lists, mm. tick lists, tick lists, <laughs> tick lists. We've got, you know, tick lists for decon, tick lists for end of day mm. shutdown, tick lists for the start of the day. But yeah, this week we've had to send off our second ultrasonic for its uh, 12 monthly validation. So we're down to one ultrasonic mm. in a six surgery practice. And that's just chaos. You can just <laughs> see the trays racking up, racking up. So yes, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. It's okay. um, and then of course our brand new autoclave, whereas mm -hmm. our old one, it's just a case of you know, checking it's reaching the correct temperature and the holding time and all that. Checking the door seal, 
wiping it inside and out. This one has to have two um, daily cycles run before you can even use it to check that the air chamber is working correctly. And honestly, so all that needs to be in first thing before you can even start calling the patients through. So it's just, yeah. Do you know, it's, I mean, just going back on the things that we've just said, so like that 45 minute, for example, for you, and as you've said, you know, there's people that may have a bit more, there may be some practices that have less or none, I yes. don't know how they'd have none, but you yeah. know, there are some, it happens, yeah. all of those things, yeah, and all of those things that have got to be done prior, prior to having that bum on a seat yeah. is, is phenomenal, absolutely yeah. phenomenal, and I mean, over the last, you know, sort of five to ten years, maybe. I mean, it's it's just got bigger and bigger. Especially the tick list, the paperwork yeah. is is what I hear most people. Yeah. When I say complain about, I, I don't think complain's the right word, but certainly it, it, it's it's an issue because, as I've said earlier, they don't have additional time to do that kind of thing. But it's got to yeah. be done. Yeah. You know, it's got to be done. And I think for some of us, that so feels... So as, as a head nurse... Yeah, go on. Go on. Yeah, I can't... What was I going to say? So I suppose for some of us, they, these tick lists and all this paperwork, it can sometimes feel like it's taking you away from what you originally signed up for, which is to be chairside. But it's one of those, yeah. isn't it? It's, you know, that's what needs to be done. So you have to just get on and find the time to do it unfortunately yeah yeah and I, I mean I, I you know I always bring it back to um ha having a good team you know good clinical team as well because I mean I keep saying it much like yours and and the other practices that we've been in um it's evident when you have got that strong um team support because you know you do have people coming in to grab your decon you have got somebody in checking that you've got that or your tick list or so rather than years and years ago you kind of felt a bit isolated yes. in your surgery yes. and, and that was it yeah um but i think the realization of the amount of work that needs to be done now within the dental nurse role you need you need your team absolutely you need your team. 100 percent 100 percent. it's like if we don't have a decon nurse which <laughs> we very rarely do yeah. whoever goes into decon if they're bringing their tray of dirty instruments down if there's already a tray waiting to go into the ultrasonic or through the ultrasonic we will always sort that out first it's not just each man for themselves it's you know that was already there first i'll put that through and that's how it's got to be because we are a team and ultimately yeah. Yes, this stuff needs doing, but it needs doing because we need to take the best care that we can for our patients. So 100%. even something as silly as, oh, those have been sat there, for, they're not my instruments, so I shan't bother with those. That's not helping the practice as a whole. No. So no, no, it no, is no, it's teamwork you, and you have to trust your team. Yeah. You have to trust that they're, if you're out the way in surgery for a couple of hours doing implants, you have to trust that what they're doing yeah. is, you know, working for a start of course and of course, you know yeah. helping out where they where they're needed which our girls yeah. do thank goodness we have a, a really strong team really strong team you do yeah I must admit I can vouch for that and I suppose the other thing uh, as well Shelley with you saying that you rotate so it means that you have clinical uh, awareness if you like on reception yeah that's that's priceless in itself because yeah. bear in mind part of that role of a of a dental nurse as well and uh, you know we do accept that it is different in practices so we're not saying that this is the role of no. a dental nurse but this is our experience so when a patient's got a question, you know, the questions are quite often over the phone or via email, and that yeah. is to your reception team or your nurses. So you've got to look after those questions as well. Yeah. So I think what, what you've got in a practice, that's brilliant, because if you've got that clinical knowledge on reception, that doesn't always leave it for the dental nurse that day, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so I think having the clinical knowledge on reception helps in yeah, so many it ways. Help. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've got we've got one of our girls, Maeve, bless our Maeve. She only does two days a week. She's been there since the dawn of time. But I heard <laughs> this week say to a patient on the phone, just bear with me. I need to go and speak to a clinical member of the team. 
and she came off and yeah. spoke to so and so who was sat on the desk and said, "Can you just da 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 da?" and yeah. then went back. So you know, yeah, it's it does it helps definitely. Otherwise, you would then have to go and disrupt somebody in surgery and potentially have to phone that patient back. You know, a couple of hours yeah. later. You know, and it's adding. And that's exactly what I mean. So that dental nurse that's actually actively in surgery at the end of the day may have four, five, six, seven, eight queries, phone calls, questions to answer. So I think yeah. to be able to have that within your team and rotate, you know, yeah. it's working as a team, I suppose, yes. again. That's, Absolutely. That's, that's another another way to look at it, isn't it? Well, Absolutely. I hope we haven't really put people off being a dental nurse, Shelley. No, I know. <laughs> I know. It sounds dreadful, because doesn't it? it? Uh, do you know what? It, 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 it sounds dreadful, but I think it's important for folk out there just to have a snippet of, of, of an idea of what the roles and responsibilities are of a dental nurse, because as you say, much of it is is not seen. But what a rewarding um, role Absolutely. it can be. Absolutely. And, I think and that's why we do it. It's 100 percent, 100 percent, 100 percent. And I mean, as you know, um, there's a patient within your practice that made um something um oh, yeah. for us yeah. and honestly it's one of the most treasured things i yeah. think i've got i used it this morning we had a cup made us everybody an absolutely beautiful cup with all our names on the handles and you know we don't do it for for things like that but what what a lovely lovely thing for us all to to receive it is a rewarding job it is a rewarding is. job yeah definitely and it's I know this sounds terrible working in a dental practice, but Christmas time and patients bring in boxes of mince pies and they go and pick up a tub of chocolates, you know, just silly things. And you think, oh, that's, yeah. you know, that's that's lovely. It's just, yeah, it is it is rewarding. Very, very rewarding. Good job as well, isn't it, really? Oh, it is. We had, <laughs> gosh, this is fun. It is, yes. Yeah, it is. We had um, a patient, God, this is years and years and years ago when I was in uh, my practice. And every year she works in a baker's, a well-known one where I live. And she used to bring us a massive box of um, homemade mince pies. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, she didn't need to. But she always said every year, it's just a little token, just say thank you for looking after me. And, it, you know, it's lovely. Really, really sweet. And we'd rush upstairs and get yes. all the mince pies. Get along. <laughs> Kettle on. Put a kettle on and eat them. <laughs> yeah, we usually send notes Absolutely. round. Oh, there's such and such upstairs in the staff room, and you see everyone like, boom, oh. they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> like a Hoover's been through the staff like, Yeah, room. they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> do you know what we used to do in in our practice? Um, uh, you know, much like yourself, you know, we we had some very, very generous, kind and considerate patients. So we were inundated with, like you say, Christmas biscuits, chocolates, blah, blah, blah. But what <laughs> some of our um, practice members used to do, the little monkeys, so we'd eat the, you know, we'd open a box of chocolates, but then there's not perhaps ones that they liked in there. So yes. they'd open another box yes. and they do the same with biscuits and the biscuits would go soft. So we even got to the extent that we locked all the others away <laughs> and would get one box out at a time. <laughs> it's a good idea because especially for us poor, poor uh, part-timers, you think, oh, there's a tub of roses there. I'll have me a nice hazelnut world. But of course, the nutty ones are always the first ones to go. <laughs> You're left with the fudge. So yeah, I oh, might dreams. implement that this year, Kate. That's a that's a good idea. The oh, girls better watch out. Oh. I'm really locking up those biscuits. I'll tell you what, that's me off Beauty's Christmas card list now. <laughs> oh, oh bless you. It's true well, that there's nothing worse, is that getting yourself all excited no, when you see this shiny new tub and it's like, no, it's already been <laughs> ravaged. It's only been in I the building ten more. minutes. Yes, yeah. And more often than that. Oh, it was with biscuits because they don't always put the lids back on because on, people weren't yeah. popping up and down. Yeah. But if that's left, the biscuits go stale. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> military. so disappointing, military. isn't it? Military. Christmas presents of the military. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, joys. do you know what? On that the note, uh, hopefully we haven't put people off. Um, we said this before, guys. 
Um, Shelley and I are here. We, we, we love to chew the fat about anything and everything to do within dentistry, especially dental nurses. Um, we've got some guests coming up um, over the next couple of weeks. So honestly, if you're a little bit shy, a little bit timid, grab one of your workmates and come and join us. We don't bite. You can see we just want to have a general chit chat. So um, uh, from me, I'm going to say see you later. And uh, Shelley. Yeah. We shall look forward to seeing you next week, young lady. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.